this is Jeremiah. This is this is New Covenant. And we're going to make an adjustment here. Pardon me. Oh, welcome, welcome, everyone. This is New Covenant. This is a ministry of home Bible study, or this is a church where we have Bible study at home, but that's what we do now. And uh, we have lots of teachings, and this is not a standard uh, church podium. As you can see, this is Jeremiah in a home Bible teaching format. And a lot of these things are taking off now, usually with a pulpit, but I don't have a pulpit here. So this is Jeremiah. This is 2022. We're headed into holiday time here in the United States. And I just want some of the, the, electric, um, the election results. And I didn't see very much to get excited about. But let's get going. Let's get going. Or, or should I say festivities, holiday. Jeremiah is on fire. We greet you in the only name given amongst men. And, of course, we are looking at uh, about 21 points for beauty. Remember, beauty is the core idea, and we're, sh we're shutting down. We're slowly, gradually getting away from beauty being the main theme here. But it's still the main theme. Uh, for this year. Uh, there's only seven weeks left or so, so we're looking at uh, a lot of time here to to wrap beauty up, and it'll go into next year, and we will refer to it. Remember, this is a ministry where we have a few basic uh, playlists that I, that I use as my resource material. In other words, when I'm preaching and sharing with you the gospel and the teachings of the sound doctrine of Paul the Apostle, etc., we are going to look at numbers or ideas. You don't have to know the numbers. I'm just going to refer to the ideas, concepts, the biblical principles, okay? And that's what we're, that's what we're going to do here. And I know many of you, you're going to enjoy uh, getting into this format, you know, the way that Jeremiah uh, works here, okay? We're lifting up hearts and hands and voices, looking to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Listening to the voice of the Lord, my sheep, they hear my voice. And that's what we're doing right now. We're listening to the voice of the Lord. The Father told us to hear ye him. So we're hearing him now. That's what we're doing. And we're listening to the voice of the Lord. Whatever the, whatever the Master says, we say, yes, sir, what is thy bidding? And that's what we're here to do, okay? So let's get going. Let's get going. Now today we're going to look at some uh, sound doctrine principles. I'll put these under... Uh, number two, number two in our playlist here in this ministry is called Sound Doctrine. Now, those of you, you don't need to get, get burdened uh, about the concepts and the repeated references um, and, and keeping track of the numbers that I quote, you know, that I mention. You're here to just learn, and you don't have to necessarily keep track of what I'm doing here. I'm doing this as a format as a format so that people can, it will help them to understand their Bible, such as terminology or vocabulary, your dictionary. So that's all we're basically, basically doing here, okay? Now today we're going to breeze right through a lesson that I'm going to add to general doctrine, which is called, What is Christianity? A lot of people have very basic American kind of questions as to what Christianity is. I just went online and some people were, were really questioning and and co being confrontational uh, somewhat, uh, you know, as to Christianity, what it, what it means, and so forth. And, and, uh, and we're here to help everyone. You know, even these people who are naysayers, who doubt the simple principles of Christianity, which is the truth, and they want to, to uh, push against actualization, you know, uh, accepting reality. Well, you know, we're here to help them. And one way to do that is to give a lesson called, What is Christianity? And that's what I'm going to do today. And I just made this lesson, and I want to give it, it's going to be about 50 points, and I'll, we'll go through them quickly. And there's only going to be one or two videos on what is Christianity. Now, I already have some lessons on this, which are what are the basics of Christianity and so forth, because there are a lot of things that are basic to almost every uh, Protestant church that has a King James Bible. And I'm going to go through that today for some of you out there. Some of you need to take your time and back off a little bit because we're getting a little heavy now. As, as I start bouncing around into different categories, and you're going to have to pay attention and so you don't get lost, okay? I don't want anyone to get lost here, okay? 
if we do bounce around a lot here but remember the videos are only thirty minutes long and i'm thinking about reducing them to twenty minutes uh... even possibly fifteen minutes because i think that the way everyone uh, is communicating and or concourse you know people are are communicating in a way that is very very short-lived or should i say the attention span is really short so that's what we're going to do we're going to like play basketball you know everything is two points at a time or three points or whatever see in other words that's what we're going to do here and we have fifty two points here uh... we we have uh... uh quite a few we have about twenty one points on number seven now that's in stone uh, seven is of course beauty and that is our seventh playlist and that of course is capacity is the whole introduction to beauty you need, you need to have a body a, a soul and a mind in order to experience things that are beautiful and to appreciate beautiful character which is seven point four so then we have seven point one which is enjoyment of what god has for you seven point two is the, re the reasonable retort of the fear and the respect of God by his beauty alone um, and of course we, we're, we're not going to leave out our main source which is the cross and how it how it confronts all humans who are in the 2000 year period who are exposed to the cross as to the for God so loved the world and you're going to respond with love also which is one of the obvious prime points of uh, temple pillars that we have here, right? Wisdom has hewn out seven pillars. So that's it. And uh, so don't get lost when we start bouncing around. Uh, today we're going to look at basic Christianity, which will, I'll probably put this under number two. Remember, basically number number two is probably our biggest, um, it's probably our most complicated uh, playlist because there's two, the, the, there are so many things under what we call sound doctrine or what we also call the Christian faith, okay? There's just a gazillion things. I'm going to enumerate them. I already have some enumeration for sound doctrine, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. But we'll, 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 I'll think of something so that we have something in stone, okay? Seven's in stone because we have one, which is uh, enjoyment, two, which is appreciation, and a logical reaction, a reasonable reaction to such uh, capacities and enjoyment. Uh, three is all this is appointed by God, His sovereign will. Uh, you know, and uh, it, it's His providence. You know, He's the one who allows us to do things. And and then there is uh, inner beauty, which we talked about in a, a few videos back. And one of our main points pertaining to, to inner beauty was the character of Jesus Christ, where we talked about the character. And we even left the cross alone pretty much. You, you, you can get a wonderful revelation of the personality of Jesus Christ without even mentioning the cross that much. Now, obviously, the cross is central to Christianity. However, we, we, we really bounced around and talked about a few things that are in your Bible, pretty much in the red letters, uh, of the Master talking, revealing. If you pay attention and go slow and with simple grammar, you can see a very caring personality of God and so forth and and which goes to agape what is agape what is the love and of course what is this love like and so forth which I have a gazillion videos on which is which is which is the number one idea of Christianity and that is the ownership of the pearl of great price the the, the pearl that is that is the most valuable thing that there is is the love of Jesus Christ and the ownership of that and and of course owning that forever that's the presence of the master and so forth so that's the number one idea in the entire spectrum here of Bible study everything basically comes from that and then when you go to number three that is what I call the trifecta and that is th that is the idea that you're supposed to love with all and the same way you love yourself and the way he loved. Those are the three prime directives that are 
required of you, and you will fulfill that requirement in doing certain things. Love will do this. That's, that's the next step. However, we're going to change gears. I'm going to go to number two today, and we're going to look at what is basic Christianity. We're going to go through a few items, okay? This will take about three videos. I'm going to go right through this, and I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy going through all of this. Uh, this is basics. Um, for, th for those of you who are in real time, and, you, and, you're, collect and you're hitting these videos like recently, um, in 2022, the latter portion, of 2022, the last three months, um, we are here and uh, we are in the 11th month here and we are excited and, and we are anticipating the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in which we put all of our eggs in that basket and we talk about it constantly because the one who we love, we want to be with and he's coming for those who love his appearing and we do indeed love his appearing. So let's talk about that all the time here. How, uh, however, we are going to get into right now some questions that some of you might have as to what Christianity is and basics. Uh, a lot of people have basic questions, and we're here to help you with those. We don't, we don't have to have everything in scriptural form. However, almost everything that I teach you is a paraphrase in one way or another or a scripture or what you might call a New American uh, translated, you know, uh, standard uh, edition, you know, where 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 it's basically the, the scripture, but but a slight paraphrase. Now, here's what's wonderful about learning uh, next year about learning the whole Bible uh, in terms of your vocabulary, having a really good grip on vocabulary, because when you get a real good grip on vocabulary and concepts, which is what I'm going to help you with with these 52 and some older references and like the um, the beauty references of 7.12345. We, we're up to 21 right now, so that we'll be bouncing around, but you'll know where we are. See, that's what's, and so when we, which, what, what, what I'm trying to get to is, uh, with a little difficulty, is we're going to start reading through the Bible most of the time. And that's what I'm looking forward to in 2023. And when that happens, we are going to do what? We're going to use the reference points that I've, that I've been going through. Don't be concerned about the reference points because it, it, this, is a, this can be a long-term situation for many of you out there, okay? Right now, we don't have that many viewers this year as we did in the previous channel. And, uh, of course, I was doing a lot of uh, pulpit kind of things. But, you know, I, I think that we're going to stick with this uh, home format, fireside chat Bible study. And I think we're going to stick with this forever. Um, uh, I, I think this is going to be the permanent, I don't know for sure, but there's a format, I like the format, there's very little involved with driving and, and electricity or buildings and cleanings and noises and, you know, other things going on, and, uh, but anyway, let, let's get to the lesson germane. As we just rejoice in the coming of the Lord, our, my soul waits for the Lord and the hope of his coming. Let me give you a quick note on music. Uh, I'm going to have probably 15 to 20 hymns up in about a month. I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy with the versions. I put some drums in most of them, and they are modernized. And I'm very happy with those versions of the hymns. And they're available for you to listen to. And uh, there are no fees. There are no... Uh, I, I, I used to tell you, share that they said that there would, there would be no advertising on my channel, but they just started adding some advertisements. So we're just going to continue and hope that the advertisements are people that the Lord is going to screen, and he probably will. He usually does when it's concerning his word and his uh, church of the, of the, you know, the, the, the Protestant, Lutheran, uh, um, Quakers that we are, okay? Having said that, let's get into what is Christianity. Now, here's my board here, and I'm, I will be bouncing around as we go through 7 through 1 through 21. Uh, a 1 is, is enjoyment, 7.1, 7.2 is a response, a logical, reasonable retort, which is basically the fear of the Lord or the respect of the Lord. Uh, 7.3 is, is, uh, is appointed time, 7.4 it's inner beauty focus with a little mention of outer and maybe contrast. 
for character, good character, proven character, cognizable character, and then a point five is everything's going to be uh, uh, beautiful. Seven point five. That, that's that's a big big issue. That is ginormous. Uh, the, uh, the book of Revelation has chapter twenty one. There will be no bad politicians on TV. There will be no uh, gang gang members. It's all over. Everything's going to be beautiful. No ugly, no bad, no mean people. Now, let, let's go to 7.6. 7.6 is you're going to be beautiful, and you're going to have a covering of light. And we, 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 we've gone into that. We'll go into that again. 7.7 is heaven is coming down from heaven, more or less, in New Jerusalem, about the size of Australia, or something like that. I, I, I have the dimensions in my head, but, but it's, it's going to be about half or one-third the size of the United States. And that's one big city with a giant wall and all the way around with pearly gates. And we're going to get into those specifics, which, of course, leads us to uh, number nine, which is you're going to have a crown on your head uh, or given to you that's going to be made of fine gold or something, which sounds wonderful. And that crown of life comes for a denial of life. If, if you hate your life, that's when you get life. Uh, Matthew chapter 10 and so forth. So that is, of course... Uh, that's nine is a crown, very fine, a crown of fine gold, uh, David says in Psalm 22 there. So, um, Psalm 21. So then we have 11, and, and you're going to have a, uh, a, a white stone with your name on it. And that name is going to reflect whatever the Lord is going to rename you. And no one knows that name except for the Lord Jesus Christ. Very significant. You are not a number to God, and that is one thing that we, we, we've talked about as we close up uh, a beauty and we go through what we're going to be referring. I'm going to be referring, I'm, excuse me, I'm going to refer those, I'm going to make reference, is a better way of putting it, to these items we're going over now and all of these numbers, okay? And I think it's going to make Bible study a wonderful thing. I'm also going to start saying hello to you in different languages around the world, even though we're not very popular right now. Um, I have one video that has only, that has like 20 views on it and 20 on that one, and, and uh, that, that's not that many people at this time. However, if it's 40 or 50 people that are viewing um, in this last day's time a very evil, very uh, selfish um, uh, uh, mean people, that's not doing too bad because those are probably going to be very sincere, uh, possibly hurting people and so forth. And that's what we're here for. We're here for people who are sincere. We're not here for, uh, you know, for people who are going to fly by here, you know, who, who, uh, who don't want to take some time out of their day and, or, or night and, and bolster up and, and solidify their rooting and grounding whether I am their main Bible teacher or I am supplemental. It doesn't matter to me. That's up to the Lord, okay? So 7.12, is your, there's under shepherds. I went over that. If you want to get into that, that's in a previous video, 7.12. And that is an under shepherd position, leadership, and so forth. And, uh, and so we have, uh, so we have 13. And... Uh, before we get to what is Christianity, let's finish that up. Now, 13 is the morning star. Uh, 14 is your name is going to be mentioned to the Father. Uh, 15 is you're going to be a pillar. Is it a pillar? Yeah, you're going to be a pillar in the temple. Uh, 16 is, I was going to say morning star. 16 is you're going to have the name of, of the Father on your forehead and uh, the name of the city which means you belong there, and that's your name. And 17 is, is you're going to uh, basically chill in heaven um, in some sort of posture, and that is 17, okay? Now, 18 is the colors of the, of the city, which are primarily gold and apparently some sort of jasper. I will be putting those up. I have a video for you uh, along the lines of beauty. And I will probably make a separate category for beauty and 7.7. 7. Uh, which is essentially 8 through 21. Okay?
and uh, eight and 19 is probably going to be the wall. I'll probably go with the wall and, uh, and the pearly gates and maybe the names of the disciples and the names of the 12 tribes of Israel, 24 gentlemen, all Hebrews. And, of course, um, uh, there's an angel at every gate. And, and we will probably add the river. The gold streets in the river probably is 20 or 21, and I'll, and I'll go over those later, okay? We basically have 21 done, okay? I'm very happy about that. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to refer to those items quite often as this ministry goes along because I want everyone who, everyone who joins this ministry to focus on a lot of good things as we study our Bible. We're, I, I, it, that's going to be one of the signatures of this ministry is to focus on beauty and color and design and where you're going, the city, and, and also beautiful character. Um, I do have a couple more videos left before I close out uh, number seven for this year, okay? And that's more along the lines of poetry, uh, and that is Song of Solomon. So get ready for that. That is when we close out, okay? We're going to close out our focus on number seven, probably on Song of Solomon, and that's going to close out our emphasis. Once again, we will be referring to all of these points, such as poetry from Solomon, which is beautiful. We're going to close out our our segment, our I'm sorry, our focus on the uh, the idea of beauty, okay, and 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 so forth. And, and all these numbers I'm going to have, which are probably about 30 or so, I'll probably have about 30 numbers. And while we're having Bible study, I will refer to one of those 30 off and on. Just like I'm going to refer to one of the 52 categories here, okay? Let's get to a Bible lesson, Jermaine, and get away from numbers and categories, which I want to keep reminding you at this, point, at this time. When we start reading through the Bible more, I'm not going to go through the list. What I'll do is, is I'll mention the numbers on the list from now on. In other words, we're having like, like a, a preview, but we're going to get away from the previews pretty soon as we read through and we go, oh, that sounds like number two. No, that sounds like 42. The master is referring to two periods in a Christian's life or, or combining those periods of illumination and endurance. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm very excited about that. Now, I do that on my own, and I've been doing that on my own for years. But I'm trying to make it so that it's easy for you who are listening to do what I do, which is to, to become more familiar and enter into the, uh, the Greek word uh, O-I-D-A, which the Master refers to as knowing him well. See, you, you know the Master well when you put on intelligence. Because he's extremely intelligent. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't know the Lord if you don't get into a lot of Bible study. That's not my point. But it's quite clear that the Master wants you to take your game up, as we say in America, higher when it comes to you absorbing knowledge and knowing precepts and, and learning terminology, okay, and vocabulary. Okay, that, that's a given. Okay? I was talking to a pastor, a Bible teacher the other day. He disagreed with me on that point, and I don't understand how he came to that conclusion because I don't see how anyone could come to any other conclusion other than that God wants you to study, as Paul said, a workman. Uh, that's one of my earlier lessons on the previous channel, a workman. Um, Paul said a workman. He's a workman, and he wants you to be a workman. And a workman is somebody who works in this Bible. There's a little bit of sweat involved here, and there's, there's a lot of time consumption and concentration, and that's what you're supposed to do. That's like that's like uh, average protocol for a Protestant. Now, America. Let me, let me make a remark about America before we get to the to the uh, lesson, in, which is sound doctrine principles, uh, uh, general Christianity. Okay. Uh, general Christian faith principles. Okay, that's what I'm going to go through here in a moment. Now, when we when we look at going through all of these ideas, 
I want you to, you know what, let's let that go. I wanted to talk about a few more items. Let's get to the lesson germane. I'll get back to that later. We'll, we'll get back to talking about all of these concepts and organizing them and how God wants you to be educated as opposed to uh, being someone who is somewhat lackadaisical. Okay, and we'll let that go for now. I want to get to the lesson germane. Let's get to what is Christianity. Now, I'll, this video will be under the uh, number two, which will be basic Christian doctrine, which is what is the Christian faith? Uh, what is what is Christianity? What are the main principles of the New Testament and and what the Lord has required of me. What is he demanding and asking me to do? And what are the requirements? What, explain to me, or give me some definitions of some words that will help me understand what those requirements are of a Christian. I want to know. I want to be a follower. I want to join the team of people who are devoted to truth and honesty and being nice and caring people, and, and, and that's what I want to join. I like the idea, I love this idea of joining and being a part and belonging to this family or familia, or paisano in Italian. Okay, bienvenu, or bienvenidas. Okay, let's go. Bonjour. Let's go to Hawaii. Walina. Welcome. Aloha. Hello and goodbye. It also means love, I think, too. That's, that's a big, broad term. Let's go to, to Christianity. What, Jeremiah, what is this? What is Christianity? And, and what are some of the basics? I'm curious. I want to know some of the basics. I don't necessarily want to know, uh, you know, what repentance is right now. And, 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 you know, I want to know what some of the basics are. Okay, let's go over some of the basics, and I think a lot of you are going to enjoy this. Let's check our time here. Okay, I'm going to stop here, and we're going to come back and get into the basics. I didn't want to talk about a lot of introductory or um, um, topical things, talking, talk to you, be talking about all of these ideas that we have pertaining to this, pl this playlist, what is it? What what characteristic are you talking about, or what subject are we on? That's all I want to say. What subject, Jeremiah, are we on? What are we talking about? Okay, we talk. Are we combining subjects? And so this is what you're going to learn how to do. And I'm going to give you the introduction to this whole thing. Okay. Let's have one more minute. So, what is Christianity? Well, Christianity is basically the New Testament or the New Covenant. In other words, the Old Testament is not applicable to the New Covenant only if it's screened properly. In other words, Ten Commandments are given in the Old Testament as a way of life. In the New Testament, Ten Commandments are given as a way of life in the eyes of grace and mercy. So it's changed. Uh, Moses introduced the Ten Commandments. He didn't introduce it in a strong format of grace and mercy. Now he did mention uh, mercy. Uh, the Father did mention it when he was speaking through Aaron and Moses when they wrote the book of Exodus and so forth and Leviticus that, that there is in Deuteronomy there are references to uh, the Lord God of Israel, who is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. So we, what we have is we have, we have a different presentation. And, and the, the humans, which are Hebrews, they fell into the trap of, use, uh, uh, of seeing the, the Ten Commandments as a, way of right, as a way of getting right with God. It was not meant to do that. And if it is meant to do that, it is stated that mercy is required uh, with the law. 
which gets a little confusing, which I'm not going to explain right now. Uh, in other words, the law is good, and so is the New Testament presentation of the law. Moses' ministry was legitimate, which is anyone who sins, uh, you're in trouble. And, and you're basically disqualified from going to heaven because God never sins. So why hang around somebody who is stained and tainted? That's one of the basic principles of Moses in the Old Covenant. However, God mentioned mercy in that particular format, but it was not emphasized. So, but when the Master came, our lovable Jesus Christ, he said that he's going to establish the law in mercy and in grace. So the, the law is still legitimate. However, it is to be established in a very serious uh, cognitive fashion. But it's established in mercy, which means God knows you're not going to be perfect at the law, but it doesn't mean he doesn't want you to establish the law. That's the point. He still hates sin, and he still loves righteousness. Even though you're saved by mercy, and he knows you're not going to be perfect at the law, he wants you to apply yourself to what? To do the law. Because you're not under the curse of the law, but you're, you're under basically the practice of the law. You, you can't practice breaking the law. I'm going to stop right here, and we'll get back to basic Christianity, okay? And I got a little heavy there right away. That's okay. We're going to get back into more easier stuff uh, for you. Okay? Some of it. We'll be right back. Maranatha. Gee, this is coming again. <laughs> 